You know, the left, they throw a lot of crazy ideas all over the place all of the time. And if you really want to see crazy, you just got to go to Canada, I guess. But California and the U.S. of A. And Sacramento here just recently, some genius stood up and said, hey, let's make it illegal for honest, law-abiding people to have uh, body armor. Because that's not a good thing. If somebody wants to come and boom, 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 they should not have the right to protect themselves. But it's okay if the criminals do. And you know, that's a lot of ad lib, but basically that's what happening and again there's there's always this exemption for criminals I, wow I, that's what they're trying to push through and they act like it's original it is not it was done in Canada many years ago and they actually passed the law and they said all you good people if you're worried about somebody coming after you with a gun or a knife or anything like that we're going to make it so they can it's against the law now for you to protect your body Wow. Oh, but by the way, you can change your body if you want, and we'll give you $75,000 and go out, and if you're a man, you know, we'll just do some slice and dice, and you can become a woman, and we'll pay for it. Oh, but you can't protect your life. I, wow. And then you swing back to uh, the U.S., and in Philadelphia, you have the Department of Public Health there that says, hey, you know what? Women. They don't sleep on the couch. Maybe when they should. Sometimes they get pregnant. We're going to pay them a thousand dollars a month. Two hundred and fifty women have already applied and and been approved, and they get paid to get pregnant. So you're going to pay them seven or eight months. In Canada, I like to compare the two countries because they seem to be getting closer and closer. Canada is like way over there from you know in terms of being left wing and crazy. And and places like California, they're all playing catch up now. But in Canada, if you get pregnant, you don't have to work for a year. That was a while ago. I think it's been increased now. It might even be two years. But for this thing, I'll just use one year as the uh, top as a talk, blah, blah, you know. Anyway, a friend of mine, he owns a law firm, and he said, you know what, in a whisper, and I said, don't whisper. He said, ah, I got, I have to. He said, I don't hire women lawyers. He says, because they come out of university, you hire them, they get pregnant, they go away for a year. And then they come back, they're here a month, they get pregnant, they go away for a year. And he says, one woman has five kids. And he says, by law, we have to keep their positions open. We have to participate with the payment. Wow, I, I this is the government. In their mixed up state, they've, they've caused some bigotry here. And I guess that wasn't the uh, reason. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure that they didn't plan on that, but that's what's happened. For heaven's sakes, you know, stay away. Uh, stay out of people's businesses and all you women who want to get pregnant, get pregnant. If you don't, sleep in the couch. If you live in Vancouver, Canada, on the West Coast, and somebody in Halifax on the East Coast gets pregnant, it's your responsibility. It is, because as a taxpayer, you all have to pay. In uh, Italy, there's a woman there. She's in charge. She's the prime minister, and she's the boss, and she says, I am Georgia. I am a woman. I'm a mother. I'm a Christian. I'm right-wing. She's quite right-wing. She's got a lot of Trumpism going on, and Europe needed her badly. I don't think she's as right-wing as me. Nobody is, but, but she's cool. I like listening to her. Don't understand everything she says, but it's pretty good. Being white. Are you keeping up? I'm jumping here, but I got things I want to express and give my opinion about, right? And um, white. Being white, I didn't think is so bad, right? But now maybe it is because a lot of people don't like me because of my color. You too, if you're white and it's not nice, color shouldn't matter. You now in Canada, again, in Ontario, in British Columbia, you have Indian golf championship games. And if you're white, you're not allowed in the premises. What on earth has happened here? I mean, really? You got all these black universities and you got all these different things and you got nothing white and people are always talking bad about us and we got white privilege and we got this and we got that. And all we got is a headache. I mean, treat us nice. I mean, what happened here? I didn't do anything bad to anybody. I mean, why are you excluding me? But that's okay. But I also then get to exclude you. I want to have a white golf game. Can I? Of course I can't. I, really. I mean, in the old days, arguments were settled with lever action. Lever action. Pick your way you say it, I guess. Uh, today it's legal action. Hey, hey, y'all, come back. See ya.